I recently had to remind myself how to do this little slide out footer effect, which is a pretty neat effect. It doesn't work on every website or every design. Now it only takes a couple lines of CSS, so let me show you how it's done. I'm here inside the customizer, and the first thing I need to target is my main element. So I'm just gonna use a pound symbol and then the word main. The first thing we wanna do is do a position of relative. We're gonna do a Z index of one, just to make sure that it's setting up above my footer. After that, we need to target the site footer class. So that's just period site hyphen footer. Here we do a position of sticky and a bottom of zero. And once we do that, this effect is in play right away. Basically all this does is take your footer and stick it down to the bottom of your page and then just make sure that your main content is on top of it. Now, if your site doesn't have a background color, we can see our footer is poking through here. You want to go ahead and put a background on your main. Right now, this site is kind of a white background, so I'll just stick white on there just to make sure that that footer doesn't pop out through that background. Because the footer is always positioned to the bottom of the viewport, if there's anything transparent in your background there, it will show through. Now, if you want to take this one step further and polish it up a little bit more, you can slap a box shadow here on the bottom of your main. So we'll do something maybe like zero pixels, 20 pixels, blur at 40 pixels, and then we'll choose just a really, really light black color here. I'm just gonna use 10% opacity here. We can see that little box shadow, especially if I just cut this and paste it back in. That little shadow overhanging there really gives it the feeling of depth that makes the footer look like it's standing back behind the site. Hopefully this was helpful to you and maybe you have a site this might be perfect for.